Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Our Lord, our Savior, and our God. Thank you everybody for the prayers and support. We pray uh, back for you. I, I just had a divine encounter and received a message from God and I'm going to share it. How it came about is irrelevant, but it's, it's uh, similar to some of the encounters I had in 2012 that all literally were fulfilled about floods and fires and uh, when I was going down to Anaheim and hearing Revelation 6 play and seeing that vision about the flood and fire and uh, an earthquake and then a power outage this uh, this came about in the same way on the iPod same iPod from three years ago uh, hooked up into my Jeep that I just uh, went out to to check something and this kicked on Isaiah 30 now I want to talk about American Pharaoh I want to talk about you know especially for those who are living in the United States of America right now as we await more decisions from the Supreme Court Justice in the month of June I want to ask you have you seen anybody acting like a pharaoh in this country what is your opinion of how our, our nation stands right now and what it stands for and what are we doing about it so of course you know remember that this uh, the, the imagery of 666 on this race and how it broke a record of 3-7 37 years and um, and I scrolled down and I, I saw a pyramid here and just show you a couple of things and then of course American Pharaoh here right in the middle it, it says from democracy to dictatorship now I challenge you to ask you if 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 that has any truth to it at all so now let's go to the the message it's a rhema word from the logos it's an instant now word from the living word of God I'm going to read it now I want you to keep in mind everything I just said as I read it and apply it to America and our situation right now. Amen. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Let me ask you. Who are you taking counsel from today? I'm speaking to anybody willing to listen. Majority of people watching my videos are saved, but what about those that are unsaved? Who are you taking counsel from right now? Who are you praying to for a spiritual covering? Who are you praying with, or are you praying at all? Okay. That walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. In other words, God didn't tell him to do that. There, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Okay, so remember. And trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. You notice the confusion in the world today? For his princes were at zone and his ambassadors came to Haines. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame and also approach. Now, the Lord just put it in my Holy Spirit as I was reading this in my Bible about half hour ago, that, that Christians are now being treated as shameful people. They're being harassed and persecuted by our administration, our government, the LGBT community, you name it. They're calling what is good evil and what is evil good. Need I mention Bruce Jenner, who is a man, by the way? I don't know, I don't know why I got on that. Let me go on. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't know. The burden of the beasts of the south. Okay, so now listen. Into the land of trouble and anguish, from whence came come the young and old lion, the viper and fiery, 
flying serpents. Okay, so this is sounds like it's referencing bad things coming, not good things. Can anybody say amen to that? They will carry their riches upon the shoulder of, of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. Now what the Lord showed me here is all this money that that uh, the ungodly people are storing up will have no profit to them at all. They're just follow me on this. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. In other words, just stop. Now, uh, now go. Now this is what the Lord told me. Now go, write it before... <clears throat> Write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. In other words, this word right here is forever and ever and ever. And I'm to journal it today. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And now look, this is, so I, you know, I studied this. What lie are they telling here in Isaiah 30. Well, they're saying to the seers, uh, see not. And, and they're saying to the prophets, prophesy not. That's the lie. God didn't say that. They did. The liars. Unto us, uh, and then, you know, pro don't, you know, in other words, just tell us the good things we want to hear. That's what this says. You know, give us the itching ear stuff. Don't stop. You know, don't do this fear mongering, warning, destruction, judgment. We, you know, just if you're going to prophesy at all, make sure that it tickles our ears. <clears throat> Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path because the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel. Now, listen. Because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, again, from democracy to dictatorship, and then from, you know, old covenant to new covenant to new world order. But we're, we're not a part of this, the saved, but the unsaved are. The new world order, the one world religion, the one world government, all right smack dab in our faces. Cry aloud, spare not, I just heard the Holy Spirit say. Therefore, this iniquity shall be as to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly in an instant. There is a sudden, sudden something coming that will be sudden and instantly as if like a breach of a dam, in other words. You know, the floodgates would just be open upon these liars. Now, please, Jesus, listen, people. And, and, and he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. Now, you ever took a clay pot and smashed it down? There's no putting that back together, building that together again. And he will not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the earth, earth or to take water without of the pit. In other words, you won't be able to get no uh, heat for your house and you'll run out of water. Hello, somebody. EMP blast. No electricity. We're already running out of water here where I live. For thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall you be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength, and you would not. In other words, look. Return to me and I'll return to you. The Holy One of Israel, the, the Lord God Almighty says, but you won't. You say, no. <laughs> I mean, come on, America. They're, come back to me and the government, the, <laughs> the, the, the people of this nation, the mockers and scoffers and all. They're saying, no, we're not returning to God. We're not going to return to God. The very thing that will save us, the only thing that will save us, the only one who can save us as judgment comes down like a hammer. No, we can't return to that. It's insane, folks. And so then this uh, pursuit of the, these people will be swift. 
One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one. At the rebuke of five shall you flee till you be left as a beacon upon the top, top of a mountain and an ensign on a hill. Let me tell you what the Lord, Holy Spirit is telling me right now, and, and I'll put a link to this, is don't wait till the fleeing starts. Matthew 24 clearly lists that, you know, that people will, uh, those who in Judea will flee to the hills. Well, how many people know it's not just Judea? And you know, where, where can you flee? Where can you run and hide from God? <clears throat> now, this is just Raymond right here. This has been marked in my Bible for 10 years. I can't explain this in a way you'd understand. This is the way, walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So, I believe I've spoken what the Lord said to me, you know, Judgment's not coming, it's here. The people voted in America's judgment. And they voted him in a second time. And now he's going to rise to world power. And uh, there'll come a point to where he'll have proceeded so far and God will allow it that there'll be no stopping him for a time and at this point the church is removed and there'll be nothing left to do but flee and before that happens today on 6 7 2015 at 10 02 a.m i want you to say i want you to know that the holy word of god warned you to return to him or else this would happen what would happen revelation 13 revelation 6 Trumpets, bowls. See, people aren't ready for this. There's no urgency in the lost. They just want to go out and live in the world and love the world and the things they're in, not knowing that swift and sudden destruction is coming, that a dam is about ready to break, that just flows down so hard, God's judgment. And we're not talking about wrath right now. Judgment, there's a difference that there'll be nothing to do but to flee. And here's God saying, you know what? You have another option, turn to me. And, and according to the word of God, they'll say no. Sure.